The famous Indian Namaste goes like this, that is, if you, if you have the right to join both the hands, only you should join. Otherwise, you have to become a karma yogi to even join the hands to say Namaste. When you join the hands, you are trying to tell the people, you and I have become one. To make that you, you have to melt with them to understand them consciously. And they become the God and then the Aditi Devo Bhava, you and they melt together. Only then you can even have the first discussion. That was the beauty of our Indian Namaste. 93rd story from the Zen Flesh Zen Bones written by Paul Reb. Storytellers Zen. Enko was a famous storyteller. His tales of love stirred the hearts of his listeners. When he narrated a story of war, it was as if, as if the listeners themselves were on the field of battle. One day, Enko met Yamako Teshu, a layman who had almost embraced masterhood in Zen. I understand, said Yamako. You are the best storyteller in our land and that you make people cry or laugh at will. Tell me my favorite story of the peach boy. When I was a little tot, I used to sleep beside my mother and she often related this legend. In the middle of the story, I would fall asleep. Tell it to me just as my mother did, just as my mother did it. Enko dared not attempt to do this. He requested time to study. Several months later, he went to Yamako and said, please give me the opportunity to tell you the story. Some other day, answered Jamaka. Enko was keenly disappointed. He studied further and tried again. Yamako rejected him many times. When Enko would start to talk, Yamako would stop him, saying, You're not yet like my mother. It took Enko five years to be able to tell Yamako the legend as his mother had told it to him. In this way, Yamako imparted Zen to Enko. Storytellers. And nobody is listening, and the teachers have become the storytellers. Some storytellers, yes, they were able to tell the stories, but it never gets imprinted in any cell of the brain. To tell a story, to teach the student, to make them conscious, to invoke a spirit inside them, you have to jump inside and stick it in the stomach. And then you and that student becomes one and then you start trying to say something then it melts like how the milk melts with the coffee, the sugar melts with the coffee. Then you are called a teacher, you are called a master, you are called a father and mother. You are called a politician. Till then, no, we are all slaves. Enki was a famous storyteller. He still so love stirred the hearts of his listeners. When he narrated a story of love, it was as if the listeners themselves were on the field of battle. He could convey in such a way. People were so much impressed in listening to the story that they get carried away, but they were not willing to put it into practice. They have not become the war machine. Their body has not become powerful to roll like a thousand man warrior. That was the different storyteller and the Zen. To tell a story, you have to become a Zen master. You have to become a master. And what is mastership? Mastership is just like this. I and you. There's two hands. Fold it. To fold, you have to first hear the sound of the one hand clap. If you know that sound, that what Ramana Maharshi has taught, ask who am I, the sound of the one hand clap. And the Christian messenger of God of the Christianity, Jesus Christ said, knock on the door shall be opened. 
once you understand to knock yourself then you have the right to keep that the hint because once you know you knowing others is very easy hence the narration of the story everybody talks everybody got degree certificates everybody knew that they married to a man and they called them husband and wife but they never became husband or wife every child is born they know that is a father and mother but the child knows that is just a coolie a person who was begging for love is feeding me but once they melt together then the blast is so powerful more powerful than an atomic bomb the love it spreads far and wide yes like even when the clouds passes in front of your house it stops to just pour down everything what it had beautiful rain that's how it is once you understood that one the samskriti so much to understand you even to hold their hands together to make the listeners to listen to make them roar like a thousand men warrior you have to practice your samskriti your culture and the culture is let thy food be thy medicine that you eat fruits before your meals and if you don't eat fruits before your meals you get gastric yes when you don't eat slowly chew properly and you gulp it down you have diabetes gastric diabetes followed by several diseases so you practice that one morning when you get up you put your saliva into your eyes and then you drink the water by chewing the water the nostril blood you have opened the path of the truth which leads you to god to see the beautiful washed well is in the ocean the arrow leaves the bow it might not hit the target but the blow leaves the bow it might not hit the target but it will not miss you will not miss all the beautiful things around you you were conscious the to become that conscious to leave the arrow you have to make you have to do the nostril blow you have no right to talk to anybody you have no right even to answer the question before you blow out your nostril that is very very important hence people were understood but people understood they understood as if the war has happened they didn't know why the war war in your body to cleanse every day to roar like a thousand men what you have to make sure you have to blow out and when the people have got gastric they have to make sure stomach is pumped this they have to practice 200 pumpings you are pumped up a beautiful body has been given to you for you even to create a mastership for you to roar like a thousand men warrior once you are a thousand men warrior where is there is a war war comes when you are weak then you find fault with every tom dick and had Thank you.